Namaste everyone and Happy New Year to all you guys, all my viewers and everyone who are new here and also all the old members of my channel. Happy New Year to all you guys. I hope that you all have already decided about all your resolutions and all for this year for 2K17 and also welcome to my channel. If I have not welcomed you all, <laughs> welcome to my channel, welcome to Priyanka's HP of the Life and also welcome to this very properly face to my face like welcome to very properly face that I have created for this video it's really properly and I just love this dark color this dark purple color so let us begin with today's video today's video is all about all the pile of all the products that I am loving like I was loving through the year 2016 and seriously guys whatever product I have like taken off from my trash and these are only products that I was loving very much to through the year 2016. So let's just begin with the beauty things first because I have lots and lots of products over here. I'll show you later the picture I'll just put here so that you can know how it is looking. It's really disgusting. So let's just start. So let's just start. And also I just want to apologize for my nails. I know it's looking really disgusting. Because I have not done it and I'm feeling really nail lazy to do my nails. So I have rumbled a lot. I know guys, I have really rumbled a lot. So let's just begin with today's video on favorites. So first of all, I just want to go through all my beauty favorites that I was loving. So from where I will start? Yeah, from the face wash. I just want to say, I have just forget to take the face wash over in here. So, it's a Patanjali activated carbon one. I will really put the picture over here. And I have mentioned about that face wash in almost two videos. I will link here so that you are like confused what that is and all. I will just link over here. You can go and watch that videos. And I have done a review too about it. I just love that face wash. It was like amazing. I've never seen a face wash so much like thick and I know there are really lots of lots more in the market but I have not used a thick face wash which will feel like so much clean and that face wash the activated carbon from the Patanjali one it's really like that it feels like after washing your face will feel really clean and like very clean I just love that that is a favorite of face wash and I have not yet like experimented with a lot of face wash in the year of 2016 new face washes and all so I have just stick to two or two to three face washes and the Patajini one is my favorite from all the three so the next item that I was loving through the month like not through the month it's a yearly video so through the year of 2016 it's again a Patanjali product it's the aloe vera moisturizing cream and i have again i have done a review on this it is it and again i have done a review on this patanjali aloe vera moisturizer you all just can go there and just take out the video so this moisturizer is really thickening and i have a very oily skin every time i see it i sh i just I should stop saying all that thing that my face is really oily because I just rumble about that a lot. So it has not yet like it has not made my skin go a lot more oily after using this. So I just love this face wash and also it's really cheap. It has cost me for 75 rupees, so it's really cheap, guys. Why not go and use this? It's really effective on really affordable price. The other moisturizer that I was loving and I will say I have not like used this face wash for a long period of time or I'll say a lot of months before because it's just a new product that has came out in the market and I have used it for like a month and I have done a review again on it but a thing is that I was loving and I want to mention this in this video so it is the Himalaya Herbals Clear Complexion White Day Cream this cream, I will again. I will say just you can see it's on a, like a bottle glass packaging, and I just love this. It feel like it has got some tint on it, but seriously, guys, will uh, there is no tint when you apply it on your face. It has got not any kind of tint in it, but it look like that. 
and again it's it has cost me for 250 rupees and it says it has got some uv protection in it but it has not given me like uh, the amount of uv that it will protect it has not given in this like written over in this script but again i just love this it has not made my skin go oily so i just love this and you should give this a try and it's really new in the market so you can get hold of it so why not next stuff i would just say it's a toner i should explain before going to the moisturizer but i just love i i have like forgot about it anyways guys so let's just go it is a Jovis skin toner from the Cocoon Bourbon. I have explained about this toner that when I have started with using toner, this is the first toner that I have gone through and till now I'm using it. Because if you have oily skin, you shouldn't use that rose toner, just go for the cucumber toner because cucumber is best for the oily skin. So this work for today. So I just love again this smell is really fresh. Uh, I just love this smell. It's really fresh. It's really fresh and it brings all the memories that I just love all the like memories and all. So again I just love this. The other thing um, now it's a face scrub so it is the skin yoga coffee body scrub and guys this scrub is the best one i have gone through ever it is a body as well as a face scrub so i don't love using like other like one for a body scrub other for the face scrub so it is all in one and i haven't got introduced to skin yoga through pepe so again pepe is one of my favorites of 2016 so this a really really great spot now body moisturizer the body moisturizer is okay it is the Himalaya Herbal's cocoa butter intense body lotion so it's winter my skin reacts really different than my face my skin like the head as well as my legs really really dry it get, uh, when winter comes my skin just start to get dry patches and all they just really look disgusting guys so the cocoa butter intense body lotion has really helped me with it i just love this it has like smoothed my skin and also it smells really like cocoa butter and i just love the smell and the feeling of this so i just love this baby and i just want to carry it every time wherever i go in this winter so them. Now, uh, other yeah, one, two more skin products are left for this video. The it is a face pack and it is from Plum Goodness. And this, like this face pack, I have bought this face pack a long way before. I think it, I have purchased it a um, pack. I think yeah. It will be fair that I have purchased this Plum Goodness Cream, like not cream, it is face pack, and till now I'm using this because it has given a really great result for my skin too. And like skin type and all, it is a green tea clear face mask and it is for oily skin. So great one to go for. If you have oily skin, do try this face pack because it's really helpful and it's a really amazing and it gives an amazing result to your face. So now a lip thing like a lip moisturizing thing it is again from Himalaya Herbals it is a natural soft vanilla lip cream I just love this lip like a uh, lip moisturizer it smells really great and also one thing I just love about this is that it's mattified it don't like a give a glossy feeling to your lips whenever you apply this I just don't love the glossy lip balm and a lip care thing because I just don't love that I just love this also because it has really helped my lips to keep moisturized throughout this winter. So I just love this. Now yeah, I am done with all the beauty products that I was loving through the year 2016. Now just let's start with the beauty things like the makeup things because I have again lots of it. So starting with the foundation. You all know about this. I have raved about this foundation in most of my videos. 
I just feel really lame to just share this but I just want to share it again because I've shared this a really long like a lot of time it is not only them the Oriflame the one everlasting foundation I just love this I just can't take my hands off this I just really love this and also it's a really tiny and it's really like heavy and you'll see package free not package free like you can carry it every time wherever you can go or you're traveling so it's really tiny and I just love this I just love now the concealer that I was loving through the year 2016 is none other than the Bajia Paris Concealer Palette. <laughs> I just, I'm just getting too excited to share all my favorites. So it has got like five concealer color. So you can go whatever color you need it for your skin to hide all the spots as well as all the dark circles. So love, love. I just love this. Now again a cream, it's a CC cream and it is a Let Me CC cream, the color transformation one. It is a new in the makeup world and I just love this. It's like, uh, it's white, it transferred to the bronze color because uh, like your skin type color. It is on the shade bronze, it has got like two shades, one is bronze as well as other is beige. I'm not quite sure about it, I will link here or you can see in the description box that what are the color and how this cream like red to your face and all it has got SPF 30 PA double plus so if you are like willing to not to put a lot of foundation or you are like I don't want to put any foundation today so this is the best one to go like without foundation also so love love again love love <laughs> the foundation powder that I was loving through the month like not a day month so the foundation powder that I was loving through the year 2016 was the Fit Me from the Madeline New York on the shade 130 Buff Beige. I just really love this consistency of this powder. It has got all the like a uh, silvery shimmer in it, so it has it give a really shine to your face. So I just really love this, and the packaging is like this. You just got a mirror over here, so you can use this for doing makeup in cars or anywhere parties and all give some give some touch up to your face now a bronzer thing so the bronzer that i was loving is my holy grail one it is from the freedom professional bronzer like on the shade bronzer it smells like chocolate again and also i just love this because it's matte it's totally matte finished color and I just don't love a shiny bronzer. I don't know why. Many of you prefer to have like a glittery or shiny kind of bronzer. But this is the kind of bronzer that I love. Go one like I just love to go all the matte on my face. So this is best. And this worked for me the best. So why not? Now the blush. So the blusher that I was loving. Again, I have not used for like a long period of time, like whole of the year. But when I when I got introduced to this blusher, I just can't stop using this. And it's the Mousse Clear Blusher on the shade 37. It's like of a corally tone with golden shimmer in it. So if you have like warm tone or I will say you want to go coral on your face, this is the perfect color and it's really cheap again. It has got me 230 rupees. Yes, 230 rupees. So this blusher is the great and I just can't stop using this. So my favorite blusher is this. Oh, I think I have lots and lots of favorites in this video. So now the eyeshadow thing. First of all, I just want to say the news palette. I just can't stop mentioning this because I really love this. I just really love all the neutral shades, all the nude shades and kind of brown tone for my eyes. I just love that kind of tone to my eyes. So this palette has got all the colors that I will need or the person just like me who just love all the nudes on their eyes. This is a perfect palette for them. So I just love the Maybelline New York Nudes palette. Secondly, again, it's a kind of a new palette and it is a Seasong Makeup HD Professional and I just love the packaging guys. It has got a little mirror over here 
and I think it has got, got a rose gold as well as one dark brown toned color in it and again it's a neutral color so I just love the combination of these Texas or Cosmetics one so this is the second favorite of the eyeshadow theme now going to the eyeliner thingy and all the eyeliner that I was loving it is the Black Magic Liquid Liner from Nykaa this I have done a review on it so I will just not explain anything of it because otherwise the video will be very long so I will just link over here just go and check that review that I have done in it and also the what I have done and also that giveaway I have done in that I know that I stopped anyways just leave this so the for my eyebrows that I was loving I always say that when you do your makeup don't forget to draw your eyebrows because it completely transforms your look so the eyebrow thing that i was loving was from again Maybelline. Maybelline is my holy grail and my favorite brand every time i just say that that is my favorite brand of all time i just love using every Maybelline product so again a Maybelline this is the fashion uh brow duo sharper it has got like two from two sides one with a puff and a like powder and thing to fill the places very needy to fill and other one you have got the pencil where you can use it to line your like brows and fill it with this and so love it now from all the lip tint no sorry i forgot the mascara so the ever great mascara the colloquial volume express mascara this mascara has given me all that blandness and volume I really have a thin lashes and gray less so that this has helped me with my brows so I'm just loving this I'm just really loving this now come the lip thing finally the lip has came and I don't have a lot of lip products over here I have tried a lot of lipsticks in this year like on the previous year but this I these are the things that I was loving the more so the first one is from uh, Elective Color Pop Matte on the shade W12 Mauve Date. It's a kind of brown tone. It is a matte one that they have recently launched, and this is the color, guys. Again, I have done a review, so I'll just link here. You can go and watch that. And it has cost me for 100 rupees, so it's a really affordable to go for. The other one is from the Nykaa on the shade Trop Thrill. And again, it's a brown shade and again, I have done a review just you can go there and just check it. So here it is and I just love brown tone color for my lips. I just don't know why but the brown tone has really suited me. You know that I have explained it before. I just love all the nudes and neutral colors. So why? That's brown color arm by Pebs. Now comes the last lip products it is the in color matting me on the shade 415 it's i think it has it called like a rose a peachy rose or something like that it's a movie kind of color and this is the color that i usually use like for my lips so yeah these are all the things that i was loving on the beauty and makeup just doing video has not yet completed all my random things are really left over here so like let's just start with this random things so first of all it's the pepe so this is the pepe that it is i think it is the may one may or june i just can't remember oh yeah july i just get it is a july pepe so i will just link the like a pepe in the description box you just go in their site and just check it out what is it it is a great subscription thing though. I just love this. Now, the like a bath cleaning thing. It is a kind of dental product, I will say. And it is the Listerine Full Mint Mouthwash. On the uh, full, it, on the like flavor, it is a full mist. Yeah, it is a full mist. Mist. It says it removes 99.9% .9 of germs. I just don't know because I'm not taking any taste. But I just love the like taste of it on my mouth and it has got alcohol but it will not really like your mouth will not get irritated as they say. I just loving this. I'm really loving this like a mouthwash and I'm really using this. It's almost gone in a month. 
Not in a month, it's a month and a half it has become with this mouthwash that it has got. It is like a big, huge backwash. So I just love this. Now comes the series kind of thing. I also I have not gone through a lot of series in this year, like on the year 2016. I was loving the most of it. Friends, that I will just say every time, Friends is my favorite of all time. So, Friends is the number one series that I was loving through the year 2016. I have mentioned it on the 2015 video also. The second one is the Pretty Little Liars. I just love Pretty Little Liars. I have read the novel first. I've just completed with all the books that I have started to watch it, and I've not yet like completed the six seasons till now. But I just I love that season. I really love it. Pretty Little Liars. So that is my second series that I was loving, and uh, and I yeah, I have not gone through yeah, Tarak Mehta ka Ulta Chashma. It's a Hindi series, and I just love that. It's a really fun and a kind of a family kind of series. So it's really fun to watch with a family. Now comes the about YouTubers. I just want to explain over here. I just love a lot of YouTubers. I really. Spend my like a uh, laser time into YouTube. So the first YouTuber that I was loving through the year 2016 was Nikki Filippi. She is the one person who has really inspired me to do videos and just upload it. She is the first person. So I just love her. She is really I'll just say very much optimistic and also she is with full of positive. Energy on herself, so she's a great person to watch. If you have not yet watched her video, I'll just link everything on the description box, everything that I've explained. So you can just go and watch that, and if you want something, you can go to the description box too. The second one is Zoella. Everyone loves her. I love her too. The third I would say Shayza the shop. She is again a person with really full of positive energy, so she is also a great person to watch. I just love them. And Nidhi Tatiya, how I can forget her? She is one of my favorite YouTubers. I just love watching her videos, Nidhi Tatiya's, and she is really, really, really sweet. I just love her. Now comes something like with social media kind of thing, like random thing. Instagram is the first place that I hang around the most. Instagram is always been my first place to hang out. I just love Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, do follow me. I'll just uh, keep the username over here. Just search me and follow me. I just really take on Instagram as well as Snapchat. Yeah, the second one is Snapchat. I just love it. Snapchat doing all these snaps. Again, if you don't follow me, do follow me. There is the username. Just go over there and just follow me. I just do a lot of step stories and they are really very funny. So I just stop, I should just stop this video. It has become 27 minutes almost in my video, like on my camera it is showing me. So these are all the favorites that I was loving through the year of 2016. And let me know what are your favorite that you have loved through the year of 2015. No 15, 2016. So just let me know what are your favorites too. So I will see you in the next video till then you all stay good. And let me know. And also don't forget to click the like button over there if you have enjoyed my favorite, my long favorite video. And also let me know how is this like t-shirt it says blogger. I just really love this t-shirt. It's from above. Okay, yeah, above is one of the shopping sites that I was loving through the year 2016. So guys, I will see you in the next video. I'm very really tired. I know you are also tired watching this video. So I will see you in the next video. Till then you all stay with me. Bye.